Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see what are complex numbers and what are the things that we are going to see in this chapter. In the previous standards, whenever you solve quadratic functions, one thing we often come to across is that a square root of negative numbers. For example, if I say we have a quadratic function x square minus 2x plus 2 and if we solve this by formula method that is minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a, the value that we will get is 1 plus or minus under root of minus 1 and here we say that the function is imaginary. Till now we used to say like this only that the given function is imaginary. But this imaginary function leads to the invention of complex number. So whenever we have a negative term inside a square root, we say it is a imaginary number. And that imaginary number that is under root of minus 1 is defined as i. So we should note that the under root minus 1 value cannot be solved further. So the scientists have coined a word for this and that word is called as i. i stands for an imaginary number. So whenever we have under root of minus 1, we say it is equal to i. Then what is i square? To get the value of i square, we will simply square on both sides. So the value of i square will be equal to minus 1. So to further solve this equation, the final value of x will be equal to 1 plus or minus i. Now let us see the different powers of i that we will use in this chapter. So we are going to see a few examples, say like we have already seen i square is equal to minus 1. Now to find the value of i cube, you can split it as i square into i. Now what is i square? It is minus 1. So minus 1 into i will give you minus i. It means i cube is equal to minus i. Similarly, if we say i raised to 4, how we can write it? It is i square the whole square. Now what is i square? It is minus 1. And minus 1 square will give you plus 1. It means the value of i raised to 4 is equal to plus 1. Using similar law of indices, we can find any power of i. So if I say example, we need to find the value of i raised to 10. What we can do is i square the whole raised to 5. Again, we have minus 1 raised to 5 that will give you minus 1 only. Now, what are the things that we should note down? Whenever we have i raised to n and n is even, our answer will be either 1 or minus 1. But whenever we have i raised to n where n is odd, in that case, the value will be either plus i or minus i. The complex number are nothing but the extension of a real number, which are further obtained by adding an imaginary term that is i. So we can define a complex number as a part of real number as well as an imaginary number. A complex number is always denoted by the alphabet z and z means it will contain a real part and an imaginary part. All the operations like multiplication, addition, subtraction and divisions can also be performed in case of complex numbers. Now the major applications of complex number is basically used in signal systems, quantum mechanics, engineering sciences and different types of control theories. Now let us see the definition of complex number. A number which is in the form of a plus bi where a and b are the real numbers and i represents the imaginary term. Such number is called as a complex number. So the standard form of a complex number z is given by a plus bi where a and b will be the real numbers and i will be an imaginary term. Also here a is called as the real part and b is called as an imaginary part. The thing that we should remember that both a and b will be real but a is called as the real part while b is called as the imaginary part. Now if we consider a complex number say a plus bi and in this case a is equal to 0. If a is equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 then such complex number will be purely imaginary as the real part will be eliminated and for a complex number if I say the value of b is 0 in that case the imaginary part will be eliminated and that complex number will be purely real. I hope friends you have understood what is a complex number and its standard form. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.